Hello everyone, how are you doing? In this video, we are going to play with an amazing software which makes our lives much easier and it's called Linkpad. If you have ever tried to visualize your data in SQL Server Management Studio, you already know how hard it is to find a record and then write joint queries to inspect its relationships like getting the category of a product or you may have tried to debug a link query which is deep inside your app and you have to go through many pages like liking page, filling a form and navigating to some other page and then you initiate your query what if that query is complex so you have to do this over and over again well you don't have to do that anymore let's find out why The magic of Linkpad. Let's go to linkpad.net. After that, we go to download Linkpad page. Here, there are two versions that we can download Linkpad 6 and Linkpad 5. Linkpad 6 is for .NET Core, and Linkpad 5 is for traditional.NET. I have already downloaded Linkpad 6, and it's very easy to install. Go ahead and install the version you want. Then we will see what is Linkpad. So, this is Linkpad. As I already mentioned, Linkpad is going to help us to visualize our data or to debug or link queries. Sometimes it's very hard to even write unit tests. And that's when Linkpad comes to help. So at the top left, we see a list of connections. These are connections to databases. There is already a connection here called DemoDB which is included in Linkpad itself. We start by looking at this then we will see how to add another connection. So let's open this one. We can see the list of tables in this database. Let's see products table. Here we have a list of columns. The data types are from .NET not from SQL Server like in 32 which is nullable and in 32 for ID which is not nullable we can also see navigation properties so for product class we have a property of category and supplier and we have also a collection of order details you can see it's I enumerable when you click on these you will be navigated to the right table now let's see the data Right click on the product table. You can see a couple of options like products that take 100, products that take whatever, products that can't, products that were. These are C sharp queries. Let's first choose products that take. Now we can see the data. I said data visualization is much easier in this application. As you can see, these are products, but the interesting thing is that if we want to see what is the category ID 1, if we were in SQL Server, we had to write another query or maybe join this query with the other one or write a join query between products and categories. But here we simply click the category here and we see the record. How cool is that? Or well, let's do another one. For this one, category 2. That's amazing. Let's see supplier for this one. We can also see the collections. For this one, we open up order details. And we see a list of order details that are related to this product. And we can go even further and go to the order for this one. And see all the details inside it. This is the coolest thing ever. Now let's write down our queries. We no longer have to write SQL queries here. As you can see, we can write down our C sharp link queries right here. So let's change this to something else. Let's see what is the data. Let's just bring up products where the product category ID equals to 
let's execute this and that's it let's filter out this one so we add a condition here for x dot this continued and execute it and you can see it is gone now let's sort it with unit price as you can see it is sorted now look at this row it also has the total and average of this column let's do something else let's just select English name and product name you can also see the type of the resulting object here let's check out this tab we can see the SQL that is generated for our query we can see the IL of it now let's go to the tree which is the expression tree generated for our query we can hover on these to see which belongs to where of our query because it is highlighted up there let's look at this you can see the take operator which is applied to products we can also write c sharp statements like this one now if we want to show the result of it we can use the magical dump from linkpad so we do query dot dump and let's execute this one and this is the same thing so let's change this to tree to see it's working now it has changed and this is useful when you want to add a few lines of code here so you could add an integer of category id right here and use it here and this works you can also write a c -sharp program vb or sql and even f -sharp. now let's right click here and choose one of the options from c -sharp language link like this one let's delete the where statement and let's execute this we didn't look at this tab before but if you open this we can see it has converted our query into extension methods now that we have seen everything let's add a connection to our database so we go up here and click add connection we choose entity framework core and click next here we can change the provider to anything we want I want to connect to SQL Server we see the EF core version of it and here we specify the server IP you can always use a dot in a set of localhost but if your server is somewhere else specify the IP you can use Windows authentication or use SQL Server authentication I don't have Windows authentication here because my SQL Server is installed on Docker so I choose to write down my username and password now here we specify the database name and now let's test the connection and it is successful we can choose a friendly name for this connection and then click OK now the connection is being added here as you can see 
the tables are listed here. This one is also prettier because not all the tables are in DBO schema. They are divided into subfolders like person schema or production schema. You can also see the views like this one. You can also export your data to Excel, Word and HTML. One other thing to mention is that if you want auto completion, you have to buy this and it is not included in the free version. So go ahead and check this out. If you have used any other thing, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more of these videos. Until next time, adios amigos.